What's going on everyone? My name is John. I'm a filmmaker slash creator and your host for Make Limited Podcast where we talk about how to change our circumstances when life happens. In other words, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Today, we are talking about completion and consecutive. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Make Limited Podcast. This is your host, John. Did you know that you complete more things than you actually think you do? Isn't that amazing? Today, we're talking about completion and consecutive. It is something that we consistently do every single day. You don't believe me? Well, let me give you some uh, some tips or just give you some statistics of things that you do. For example, every day you get up, you complete a whole night's sleep. Every day you wake up, you brush your teeth, you wash your face, you clean, you take a bath. You completed something that we call, you know, <laughs> being clean, right? And secondly, or thirdly, you get dressed, you go to work, you have breakfast, you come back from work, you have dinner, you have lunch. Whatever the case is, you're completing those things. And every day you are competing, you're completing either about 14 to 18 to 24 hours every single day. And that, that's not even it. Every week you complete a week. That's seven days. You complete it. You close that week. Every month you complete a month. Just like right now, you're completing a Tuesday, four consecutive Tuesdays listening to Make Limited Podcasts. And it has encouraged you and it elevated you. It's just so amazing how much or how many things we do so for our first thing we're talking about is completion and then we're going to go into consecutive but first we're going to go into completion completion is a simple definition as the action or process of finishing something simply simple i mean completion but how important is completion well i'll tell you this completion is important because it's a part of us part of you part of humanity we complete every single day something so if you think to yourself that maybe you're not doing anything maybe you haven't done nothing you know you wasted a whole 20 years on doing nothing but you literally completed 20 years and in those years you've completed things that you probably don't even think of and that's because completion is what we do as humans. We start something and we complete it. We always see the beginning to the end. We complete something every single day. No matter what it is, we finish it. So completion is a part of us. It's what we do as humans. Secondly, we finish things all the time. Every single time we finish something. And it's beautiful because sometimes, you know, we only see completion when we focus on a certain subject right or not we're so objective on something that we're zone focused on it for example learning music right or reading a book it's something that you can measure from beginning to end how because you take courses you take classes and you are starting and you're beginning you can see both things at the same time but completion is a part of us so much that we do it consistently every single time we finish things all the time and thirdly, what we do before completion will be our results. That is something that is beyond truth. What you do in the time before you get to that moment of completing will ultimately be your result. Take, for example, again, learning the guitar or reading a book. What you put into it, you will gonna, you're going to get out of it. So... As a guitar, when you're taking guitar courses or guitar classes, how much effort you put into learning, practicing, re repetition, creating that time for you to learn more, paying attention in class, taking notes, learning more from more people than just your classes will be ultimately how good you will be at the end of that course in playing guitar. Same goes as reading a book. When you read a book, 
you, you know that it has about 500 to like, I don't know, 1,000 pages, right? But you know that each chapter is a stepping stone towards your completion of the book. But the more you put into the book, the more you get out of it. The more notes you take, the more highlights that you put on it, the more emphasizing on certain words, learning about the 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 author, the how he writes, and just really dissecting the book, you're really going to get more than just opening the book, reading from front page to back. You will get more out of it. So whatever effort you put in before you complete something will ultimately be your result. That's why every time that you feel that you don't complete something 100%, you feel discouraged. You feel that you, this month or this week or this day, you feel incomplete or incomplete because you didn't finish something. Or you didn't put 100% of effort into it so you know that it's not something that you're proud of, something good, something that you can't brag about. So the efforts that we put into something will ultimately lead to our results. Exhibit A, how we feel. Exhibit 2, what you get out of the book, what you learn from it, how you apply it into your life. Guitar, it could be a whole start of a new career. Because we don't know where these things are going to take us unless we put our efforts into it. We plan things as we recently talked in our podcast about planning, right? So again, all of this of completion comes every single month. Every month you have opportunity, 30 days to 31 days to really get out there and learn as much as you can, build as much as you can. Again, completion. It's a part of us. We finish things all the time. And whatever effort you put in it, it's ultimately going to be your results. Okay, so now let's get into consecutive and then we're going to towards the end we're going to talk about these two things and how they interact with each other so consecutive it's very very important as well as completion okay and the beautiful thing about consecutive is that its definition is very simple and here it is the definition of consecutive is following continuously. Yes, let me say it again. Following consistently. So what is it, what habits are you building consistently every month? In 2022, we've completed four consecutive Tuesdays. Something that has continually happened every week. You come around and you hit Tuesday again and Make Limited Podcast is there for you. So what habits are you building? Every day we are doing something repetitively. You're waking up, you're brushing your teeth, you're cleaning your face, taking a shower. You are dressing yourself, getting ready to either head to work or head to breakfast or whatever it is the case that you're doing that day and that morning. You're creating something, a habit, without even knowing. And sometimes we don't even know that we created these habits until someone familiar to us points it out or a stranger points it out as an interesting thing that we do. But you start noticing this habit and you start understanding some of these things. And some of these habits can become addictions, right? Because it's something that you keep on doing that your dopamine in your brain keeps on, you know, pushing that because it's a high for you, right? And we keep on doing it. So what is it that you are building a habit? Is it a good habit or is it a bad habit? What are you building on? This is something for you to think about today and this Tuesday because you are completing four Tuesdays that you have been living. And that's just a blessing in itself. So let me give you something that I want you to motivate you, right? What what you are, okay, what, I'm sorry, what are you already doing consecutively? Besides your habits, what are you doing consecutively? 
what are some things that you can point out right off the bat that you are doing again and again and again? We're talking today about completion and consecutively. Today we're asking these questions because what I want to focus on is for you to look deep inside yourself as you're completing this month or you will be completing this month and I would say in about mm, let's see, like one, two, three, four, five, six, in about six days I believe you would be completing this month. So what is it that you have done this month consecutively or do you even remember? I know there's times that we don't remember even what we ate the day before. Development in our lives is important, okay? It's very important for us to develop something. If you're finding yourself in a place where it's a hard time to remember what you've done during the month, then I believe that this year is your year to start a calendar where you start making goals, when you start making plan what to do every day. I know sometimes you want to live spontaneously and just do things out of nowhere because you don't want to feel stuck on a calendar. But the purpose of having a plan, purpose of having a goal, vision, the purpose of having this is so that you can develop a character, a strong character, and not fall for anything, but know what you stand for as a person to be a better human which here is why we strive to inspire and motivate to be better humans because we know that we need better humans in this world. Humans that would do the right thing. Humans that would stand up for what is right. Not just stand up because the feelings were hurt, because I didn't like what someone said, but because it's right. So here are some things that you should consecutively be doing in my opinion. And I like to call this the main li maintenance list. So if anything for this m coming up month, right, or this few days that you have is to complete this month and you're starting a new month, this is something that I recommend that you do consistently or consecutively. And this is one. I call this the main list, maintenance list. And then here it is. Eating healthy. That's number one. I know so many times that we eat, you know, it's it's really quick to, to go to the fast food restaurant and just go there and get some food because we're busy, we're on the go, and we need to get things done again. But planning before every single day, meal prepping can be a huge help. Making a meal bulkly, knowing when it expires, knowing when you're going to need to remake that food is something that becomes very simple that once you start doing it, it becomes a gratif gratifying thing that dopamine kicks in and you start doing it over and over. That's how habit is built. You're gratified by what you keep on doing consistently that it's rewarding for you because you start seeing results. You start seeing things in your life. Start getting healthier. So eating is something, eating healthy is something that is going to benefit you as a human. Not only will you lose weight and all these good things, but you will start seeing improvement in your life, in your body. Things that you probably had trouble with because you made a little plan, you did a little research, and you started eating things that were appropriate to your body. Now you start seeing that you start feeling better, that things that were bothering you before, that you've gone to the doctor and the doctor would tell you all these things. Now you start seeing that you are fixing that automatically your body's reacting to the food that you're doing and it's helping you be healthier as a person not only in your fitness life but as a healthy person inside your body secondly which leads me to something that goes hand in hand with eating healthy is exercising at least 30 minutes a day put that in your calendar every single day exercising 30 minutes a day and you know you don't have to make this super difficult in exercising you can start step by step. One of the biggest things that we've been talking about since the beginning of our first podcast is how do we eat an elephant one bite at a time? Of course, metaphorically, right? 
So how are you going to take this exercise in your calendar in 30 minutes a day? My goodness, that's a lot. I don't know if I can do it. Very, very simple. One of the, one of the things that I love doing in the morning is getting up early in the morning and taking a walk, whether it be in my kitchen, to my living room, whether it be outside, whether it be going to the track, the gym, it doesn't matter. 30 minutes a day going on a quick consecutively walk. I don't stop. I keep on walking for 30 minutes. Take the time to read a book. Take the time to listen to the news or something that you want to get updated to or something that you get to learn while you're walking. This is something that you can do and literally, you know, hit two birds with one stone. So walking 30 minutes a day, something that you can start with. And then you can build up on it, right? You can walk five minutes, run one minute. Then you can switch it up. Walk one minute, run five minutes. As you start developing your body, right? And you start getting yourself learning about exercise, learning what's best for your body, how your body's reacting. You start creating a routine. You start creating something that consecutively you're going to be doing every single day completing and then you're going to start rewarding yourself and that is going to kick in the dopamine of reward and you're going to want to do it every single day and your body is going to get healthier not only because you're feeding yourself good things but because you're also helping your body mobilize and move. You're helping the, their body be maintenance. You're looking at it. You're seeing what it needs to be done to make it last longer, to help it move and to help it stretch all of that is very crucial when it comes to maintenance in your body. Now, the third thing that you can go look at is educating educating yourself in something. Again, we did talk in the 30 minutes that you're there. You can read a book. But I say focus on something that's going to benefit you. One of the things I say, this is why I say this, because um, when I was listening to Dr. Miles Monroe, one of the things that he would do because he was an ambassador to the British um, Kingdom and he was an ambassador to other other countries and um, he would do a lot of talking, uh, public speaking in, in big areas with important people and one of the things that he would advise because he would become an advisor to these countries, he understood that the advice that he had to give had to be a good advice. So what did he do? Not only with the information that he knew but also he understood that books were very important to understand different perspectives, different systems, different areas in life and understand how to give the best advice by knowing information from the past, future, everything he needed to know. So he would spend money on book, on books. He would spend up to 400, even more money on books. And to a point that he, he was taking uh, an assistant with him uh, to the library or something like or a bookstore and he would buy up to like four hundred dollars of books and the the person who was assisting him said wow you, you're spending that much money on books and he said yes that's why with that mentality that's why you are an assistant and i am the person who goes out doing that it's a it was a lesson to be learned because when you are in a position of learning educating yourself in something you want to put yourself in a place that will benefit the area that you're in right you want to benefit yourself in that place so educating yourself for example if you are a dog trainer reading different books about dog training would be something that you would benefit from. Why? Because you would know different techniques. You would learn about breeds of dogs. You would know about everything that would educate you to be more informed in that field. So the more informed you are, the more productive you are in the field to be very effective in your job. So educate yourself in something, but not just anything. Focus it on something that would benefit you. Next, we have reading. Now, education can be also going to school and all this stuff, but reading is something that I focus on. And just like I said about Dr. Miles, while it's important for him to educate himself with books, I believe that reading is something that not only will help you educate yourself, but also will help you in your speech, public speaking, when you're talking, because believe it or not, when you're writing, how you read, or how you read and how you write, go hand in hand. Okay, so when you are talking, you're literally speaking how you talk when you're writing. So if you want to educate yourself more to be a better speaker, to be a better reader, 
and you want to challenge yourself in that area, then I recommend that you read so that you can improve those things. So you can grow in there. So your mind can expand. Because one of the things that reading does, it actually lets you creatively think. It helps you think broader than just thinking narrowly into what you just know. But it helps you discover things, plans, and, and breaking down different concepts of authors and how they write. And it's very crucial and important to our lives as we keep on growing. Lastly, which is one of the most important things here, is hydrating plenty with plenty of water okay now don't just drink a bunch of water make sure that you know how much water your body needs right and so that's something to look into because we need to stay hydrated in our body if your body's about i believe 90 percent of water your brain takes about 20 percent of energy from your body 20 percent that means that you have 80 percent that your body is using 20 percent that your brain use and your brain has water in it so you need to keep your brain hydrated as well because if not it shrinks believe it or not it shrinks and it shrivels and you need to keep it hydrated so that's why it's important to also drink water not only because your body needs it but because your brain needs it as well and it's something very important which we don't think about right your brain needs water so those are the things to look at when we're talking about maintenance in your body. Things you should consistently be doing on a monthly basis. Every single day, every week, every month. Put that in your calendar and it's going to help you tremendously. So as we close and as we get this to and we talk about the correlation is this. Completion is the action or process of finishing while consecutive is following continuously. So the reason why this go hand in hand is because in the process of finishing something, you need to do something consecutively in order to finish it. Every day, if you didn't wake up, you would not finish that day. So something that you need to do consecutively to grow. And what are you doing? Again, we go to that question. What habits are you building? What are you already doing consecutively and as those things benefit you or they don't they work hand in hand competitive completion and consecutive work hand in hand so i leave you lastly with this quote our bodies our body is a seed how we care for it will determine the fruits and its growth okay our bodies is our body is a seed how we care for it will determine the fruits and its growth all right so you have reached the end of today's podcast thank you so much for joining us it is always a pleasure having you your support your amazing results of how make lemonade has been impacting your life it's just so great to receive those messages and it's so encouraging thank you so much for sending those messages again if you want to send us how make lemonade is impacting your life you can always go to make lemonade podcast.com or you can go and visit us at our facebook page at make lemonade podcast very simple to find us send us a message dm us on how make lemonade is just elevating and impacting your life because we know that make limited's purpose is to motivate you inspire you to be better humans now before we go we all we do want to give some announcements that we are that are coming february so the next time that you hear us it's going to be an amazing things new things that you're going to be listening to for example one of the new things that you're going to be seeing is a new logo on the podcast it's going to be an amazing logo it's going to be dedicated to the series that we're going to be talking about through this whole year but next you're going to be seeing that it's going to be a completely new season okay completely new season that we're going to be focusing on to elevate your life to inspire you motivate you to be better humans next of all some of the things that we're going to you're going to be seeing this coming up february and all year long you're going to be seeing 
you're going to be hearing as well new special guests now if you follow us on facebook you're going to be able to see the guests that we're going to be bringing in on the podcast and it's going to be amazing so check that out go and follow us on our facebook because you're going to be able to see our special guests and any updates that are going to come as well you can sign up for our newsletter to get those emails as well uh, and next we're going to have a new intro so you've always hear us talking about welcome you know my name is john and we're talking about you know things like our intro that we've had but we're gonna have a completely new intro so i'm excited for you to hear it and it's gonna be an amazing time that we're gonna have so thank you so much for being with us once again and we'll be seeing you next time peace